All right, good morning, everyone. I hope you all had a great weekend. And I hope you are having a great start to your week. So I am working on a blanket, you guys, and if you watched the replay on my um, last live, I did, I believe I mentioned I was going to make a project that was going to be a part of a announcement. And this is the project. So, um, you guys, I am going to be a auntie. So, I have started this blanket. And it's going to be a boy. This will be my first, first, very first nephew and I am so excited um and well I just found out last week that is that I'm having a nephew and I want to say I've known maybe about two months now that I am um or that my brother <laughs> and his um, girlfriend is expecting. Um, so I am so super excited about that. And I can't wait till this blanket, till I'm finished with this. Um, so my goal is to finish this blanket. I want to get it done this week because... I want to make a hat and some booties for this. So, um, that's my goal is to finish this blanket this week. But the baby isn't due until like the very top of next year. And I'm talking like New Year's. Um, so hopefully, you know, things will continue to go well and, you know, um, the baby is born healthy and will be born as close to the due date as possible. So, yeah, um, again, this is the blanket. This is what the pattern looks like. Hi, Sandy. Good morning. And the yarn I'm using for this blanket is um, the Big Twist yarn. I was actually supposed to go out yesterday and get some more of this yarn, but I was not feeling good at all. And I'm still not feeling my best today, but I forced myself to get out of bed and come over here and start working. Um, this is a pattern I got off of the Premier Yarn website. And um, it's called the Primrose Blanket or Primrose. I think I'm pronouncing it right. But... Um, I'm loving it because it has a little bit of texture to it. Good morning. How are you? Thank you for coming in. I hope you all had a great weekend. Great weekend. So, yeah. Hi, Frugal Mama. Got Miss Jeanette in the house, along with Sandy. So, 
Um, I just want to make sure I'm on the right <laughs> track here. So, to the ladies that just joined, I don't know if you heard or not, but um, in my last live, I mentioned I was going to make a blanket that was going to be, or a project, that was going to be part of a announcement. So, I just announced I am going to be a new auntie. This will be my first first nephew hence it's blue <laughs> so um i'm excited about it i just found out last week and i had already planned on making a baby blanket um for the baby, but I did not know for sure, you know, at the time what the sex of the baby was going to be. And, um, my brother's girlfriend, she reached out to me and told me what the baby was and, um, asked me if I could make a blanket, but she didn't know I already had planned on doing it anyway. <laughs> so... That was my announcement. That's my exciting news for this year, <laughs> pretty much. So, hopefully I can get this done, you know, like I said, pretty soon. So I can um, start working on some of the other things that I want to make. I also thought about making a, um, like a little teething ring or rattle as well. So, yeah. Yes, Sandy, I am closing in on 1,000 subbies. So, that's good. Um... I really got to work at getting my watch hours up, though, because they're up and down, up and down. Um, and I know I have to stay consistent, you know. So, that's something that I really got to work on. It's keeping my watch hours up and staying consistent with my uploads. And thank you, Jeanette. Thank you. I'm going to say, I, I need some good news. I need something because, you know, I mean, every day is a good day. It's always good to wake up, you know, on this side of the dirt. But I'm going to say in the last month or so, um... It's just been one thing after the other, and I'm just like, I can't take any more, you know, like medical stuff and whatnot. Um, and I haven't really given an update on my dad. Um, he is doing well. He's doing, you know, he's still got some things that, you know, they're trying to figure out. Um I think I had mentioned it in Jeanette's live um, a little while ago um, that my dad had a heart attack on July 1st. And it was actually my baby girl's birthday. We didn't plan on doing anything, but that whole day still just got thrown off. Um, because my mom called me, and I had just spoke to my mom that morning around 7.30. She called me not even an hour after I got off the phone with her and told me about my dad. So I was like sitting at home, almost panicking because I'm like, okay, what do I need to do? You know, what's going on? And I didn't know any information. My mom didn't even know any information much, you know, because according to 
her, it took them some time to even figure out, you know, that he was, you know, even at the, well, she knew he was going to the hospital, but when she got to the hospital, I guess they had some, you know, took a little while trying to figure out who was who, you know, who she was actually looking for. Um, because he, he had to have a procedure done. Um, so it was like a waiting game for a little while, just trying to figure out what was what, but I was able to see my dad that day and he did have like a week and a half. He was in the hospital for almost two weeks, I think. Um, but he's, he's been home since like the 10th, I think of July. So yeah, he's he's doing good. Um, like I said, he's just still got some things going on that you know. Hopefully, they can kind of get that squared away and figure out what they need to do. But it's just been so much going on. I'm just like, we need some positive vibes over here. We need. <laughs> We need some good energy. <laughs> yes. Um. Let's see. Who did I miss? Good morning. She spins and blue ice. Good morning to you all. Thank you for coming in. So, yeah. So, how's everyone's weekend been? What do you have planned? Are any of you crafting today or just chilling? Are you working today? What's going on? I probably, um, as far as me, I don't think we have anything to do, um, today, but I do plan on going out to the store because I want to get, um, some more yarn. I don't think I have any more of this yarn in my stash, so I'm going to go to the store and get some more of this yarn. Hopefully, I can find it. And um, I'll probably get two extra skeins just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Maybe three. I probably won't need that much because this isn't really, um, it's not going to be too big of a blanket. Um, the pattern says to make this blanket until it's like 30 inches um, from top to bottom. So I might make it about 30 to 34 inches, somewhere in there um, before I actually put the border on because I know when I get the border on, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. So <clears throat> once I get to 30 inches, I'll figure out, you know, what I wanna do with that. <laughs> so yeah one crochet success and one failure teddy bear that looks like a whale oh wow are you gonna um restart the teddy bear yeah Thank you so much, Jeanette. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, we need all the prayers that we can get. Because, I mean, everybody is dealing with something, you know? 
It may not be what I'm dealing with, but everybody is dealing with something one way or the other. So, I'm always in the mood for some good prayer and positive vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah try to frog it and see what you get and if you can't get it maybe it's time to put it down and maybe figure something else out <laughs> I've done that several times um on some smaller projects that I actually had started and I just put them down for a while and then I come back to them you know sometimes that's best <laughs> oh you're working on a scar look it's almost that time I um here we go I finished this scarf that I was working on um this is the one that I didn't use a pattern for. I just, you know, kind of crocheted it, uh, made it as wide as I wanted to, but I did like the ribbing back and forth. And I used the Earth Ombre yarn. Oops. Buy and put. And I just put a single crochet border around the um, edging of it. So this is the scarf and how it looks. I like to wear my scarves like this. Okay. So finally finished that up yesterday. And I'm glad I um over the weekend I took it with me to work and worked on it in between um customers. So I'm glad I did because I um I didn't know for sure when I would get it done. All right, frugal mama. Let's see. This way is exactly right that way. Yeah, I like it. Um, I have enough yarn left. I don't know if I have another skein of it, but I'm thinking I might start a hat with that. And I'm thinking I might knit one, knit a hat, and it's going to have um, a black um, brim or ribbing around the edge. And then I'll use the um yarn the remaining yarn to um make the body of the hat so that's my goal i'm gonna cake this up eventually so it's not just flopping all over the place and i can have it you know ready to go So that's my plan when I, whenever I do decide. I already got a pattern in mind. So I've saved it in my Ravelry. 
but I am definitely ready for some fall and winter weather, you guys, so that I can start pulling out my hats and my scarves. Now, I probably need to, um, I think I'm going to make my kids some hats, um, as well. I don't know what colors I want to make, um, their hats and stuff yet. But I'll, I'll figure it out. I want to do something fun. Uh, my oldest one, she loves rainbows and unicorns. Um, she's into dinosaurs, too. <laughs> So, I want to do something fun um, for that. She loves, like, um, all, type of the, all types of, um, like, video characters. Um, the Super Mario Brothers and, um, you know, little characters like that. So, I want to do something of that nature for her. Um, I just got to figure that out. <laughs> and then my little one, she can probably care less what colors I make a hat, you know, for her. So I'll probably look through my stash and see what I have and just try to let my creative energy flow. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to run the shampoo a little later. <laughs> Sorry about that. I can believe it. I can believe it. When it gets cold here in North Carolina, I think that's cold enough for me. But I can believe, like, states like Chicago, New York, you know, Wisconsin, all of that, I can believe it gets very, very cold up there. <laughs> Yeah, my um my husband was coming in trying to see if I wanted something to eat. I might try to eat. Um well I'm, I'm not gonna say I might, but I'll eat something. Um I had a feeling I'm gonna have to probably go back to the doctor and I gotta see what's going on. My ears have been ringing and i've been thinking about this lately like what for a while that i might have some tinnitus going on in my ears but i've also been getting lightheaded and feeling nauseous and having headaches um so i don't know if it's just due to 
you know, things that I already got going on and, um, or if it's just a whole nother separate thing, but, um, I gotta get this figured out. I really do because I just have not been feeling like myself. And I thought maybe I was dehydrated, but I don't know. I don't think that's the case, but I've been, I've definitely been trying to keep my water intake up. So I don't know what it is. Um, and recently I found out that I may have, um, or that I have a lupus and Sjogren's overlap because I've been you know, in a lot of pain, and I was already dealing with fibromyalgia, and we've adjusted my medicine and everything, and in February, February of this year, I actually went back to my doctor, she ran um, some tests, or did labs, and she referred me to a rheumatologist, and I think about a month two months ago now, um, they said my blood work came back consistent with um, lupus and Sjogren's. So, I don't know what's what <laughs> anymore. I really don't. Because I've spent basically, you know, my whole life, like, you're healthy and, you know, there's nothing going on. And then it's like, bam, one day, oh, you have this, this is what we see and take this, do that. So I've been actually trying to, like, kind of reassess my diet and, you know, just do different things to make sure I'm not overdoing it so that I won't feel bad, but some days that's kind of hard not to do, I guess. So I'm just, I've been taking care of me the best way I can. I just honestly think, um, I don't know, I think the lack of rest is like definitely playing a role. But I'm also that person where I just can't sit still either. Like, I just can't. <laughs> I have to be doing something. That's why I'm not laying down in the bed right now. Because I laid in bed all day yesterday. And even then, like, it was, I didn't, I wouldn't say I felt miserable, but it was different. <laughs> I tried to crochet a little bit while I was in the bed yesterday, but it didn't feel the same to me. And usually I'm okay with crocheting while I'm just sitting in bed watching TV or something. But it just did not feel the same.
to rip my work back out. I've been making a lot of mistakes in this blanket this morning. I've, I was doing good. Um, but this morning, I've been making some little mistakes here and there so yeah I pretty much got to rip this whole previous well back out again there I go I do not like making mistakes in my work. And sometimes I'll just leave it. Like if I'm doing a granny square, I will be honest. Sometimes I'll just leave it. Like I might miss do one less double crochet than what I need to. But um if I can get away with it, I might I leave it. <laughs> Honestly. But I don't like to actually leave my work like that. What about you guys? Do you all go back and correct yourself if you find a mistake? If you can go back and correct it, do you go back and correct it? Or do you just leave it? Hi, Karen. How are you? And thank you. I appreciate you coming in. How's your day going so far? One second, you guys. I'll be right back. One second.
Let, what kind of project will you be working on, maybe? Well, Pancho, that'll be nice. Have you um, picked out what colors you're gonna gonna make it? Pound of love. That'll be a nice color. I want to make a poncho, um, but I want one of the, I want to make one of the ponchos that have like a collar to it. That's what I want to make. And you're going to make it just that one color. Yes. Now I'm going to have to look into my, um, see what yarn colors I have that are, you know, fall related and see if I can get that going.
just double checking my work real quick. <laughs> Making sure I'm not starting any, um, having any more issues. I think I got everything right now. I want to make me some leg warmers too this year for like boot cuffs so I can wear my boots. Excuse me. I do not need to be yawning. It is too early for that. <laughs> too early for yawning. So I'm going to stay on a couple more minutes, you guys. I'm go in and um, I gotta run my shampoo and right my floor real quick. Cause I have a little, well, actually I have a couple of spots that I have to get up. I was going to do my um, whole floor, but I honestly do not have the energy for the whole floor today. <laughs> so I'm going to just do these couple of spots that I need to get up um, because I do not want to look at them any longer. One of them I was supposed to get up like a couple weeks ago, to be honest. And then this morning, my daughter wasted um, a cup. So I want to get that before you know I wait too long so that's all I'm doing today today is pretty much going to be you know my craft day I might go out afterwards and um, you know try to get to the store and get me some yarn And if I don't make it today, it's going to be okay because I have time. Um, but I'd rather go sooner than later, though, to get what I need. Then it'll give me a good excuse to get out of the house today a little bit, too. All right. 
So I'm going to go ahead and hop off for today. Thank you guys for coming in and watching. I appreciate it. Please feel free to come and join me again. And I will see you guys later.